love what I love first Let's get that straight when it comes to loving you Loving just can't wait I go I spent the last 11 years of my life studying vegetable-related psychosis I've written four books on vegetable obsessions the last two specifically on the Kebba file. Hello, my name is Ginger Green and I'm a cabbage head. Well, I think most people, at least deep down inside, realize that Cabbage is really just a powerful symbol of both life and nature. I mean, that's the reason that I chose it as the main medium for my life's work. It's really, it's really like a spiritual experience for me. And my astrology charts even always point to cabbage. I mean, <laughs> always cabbage. My current project is what I like to call cabbage buddies. I like to imbue the natural and the vital nature of the cabbage by giving them a personality. I give them faces. I mean, if I didn't have my heart, I'd probably just snap and probably hurt somebody. myself going to the market and looking at all the cabbages, just imagining those cute little tiny faces peering back at me. Sometimes when the faces scare me. Told me of love, they sounded so cliche. I'm beginning to think that the use of cabbage in my artwork is, you know, really starting to cause some unpleasantness in my personal life. And now I felt love so strong. You smell sweet like cabbage. And when they spoke Sometimes they do get a little stinky. I got fired from my last job for allegedly stealing. I mean, do I look like the kind of person who would steal bar cabbage? I only steal imported cabbage, organically grown. I mean, when I used to be the head chef, yeah, I mean, I stole on the weekends, that's how it started, but I didn't have a problem. Sure, after a while, being surrounded by all that temptation, it became like every other day and then a couple times a day, but I, I don't have a problem. The single most distinctive identifier of the cabophile is the need for tactile stimulation. They need to be in physical contact with the cabbage. They need to touch it. The thing with cabbage is, you don't know. Your neighbor could, your family members. Mick Jagger, 20 years of cabbage. Does anybody talk about that? No. Bill Gates has 20 acres of cabbage growing, and if I could get my hands on that. Oh. Anybody know what time it is? I'm tired of waiting on this flipping drink. Been here, uh, been here for a while now. There she is. Did you guys decide what you want to eat? Yep, we'll, uh, we'll have prime rib all around. Prime rib? You know, the corned beef and cabbage tonight is really great. Now I can't get my hands on any of the chronic cabbage because I'm stuck waiting tables with these mutants. But this is indeed a serious mental illness. 95% of all cabophiles show absolutely no response to treatment. Yo, hot stuff. What's in the bag? Nothing. Yeah? What? It's Let lettuce. Let's see what's in the bag. It's, um... Do you, have, do you have to film everything? Seriously, get this out of my face. Well, they call me the pitcher. I'm real hard on mister. The leaf gives me such a rush. I can't really remember when I started throwing cabbage. It just feels so good. Almost natural. I've done it ever since I was a kid. Go ask my mom. 
Ah, you ask about my son at Mark, my son Mark Kowalski. He always loved the outdoors. He was an Eagle Scout, you know. Yeah, he always threw the cabbage. Apparently it started in the kindergarten, but nobody mentioned it at all, not even the teachers. I used to be a carpenter, but I got fired for throwing a cabbage on my boss. Now I just spend a lot of my time in the woods. Got lost once when I was a kid. Changed me forever. You know, I was an Eagle Scout once. This tree could build you a shelter. Trap that mongoose right there. You know what? I'll even kill a bear. This guy right here, special. Eat one of these, survive for 30 days. Saw a blue jay. I've never thrown a cabbage in anger. Sometimes I just get this overwhelming urge and I just, I just need to chuck one at somebody. Thank <laughs> you.